Lamborghini Rover. I put some ice on you cause you gotta go. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Got that ass too slow. 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 Good morning, vlog. Say good morning, Bentley. Welcome to the vlog, y'all. I am so tired right now. That's just makeup brushes and stuff on my desk. Don't mind it. But yeah, I'm sitting on the floor and I am so tired right now, like exhausted. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Okay, so last night was Wednesday. And um, Wednesdays I have clinicals. I do a 10 hour shift of clinicals. And I came home and I just had a little headache and I was just so tired. When I, I kid y'all not. I came home, made myself some food, and went to sleep. I was asleep by 7.30. Now, on Wednesdays, Bentley goes to his sitter, and there he plays with, like, another dog, and he plays with the kids and everything, so he always is wore out on Wednesdays, too. So when I tell y'all, me and Bentley slept from 7.30 p.m. to about 6.30 a.m. this morning, I, I'm not joking. I'm not we slept and like we might have well not we i might have woke up like every now and again like for less than five minutes like because i always wake up in the middle of the night but for the most part it was non-stop sleep from 7 30 p.m to 6 30 a.m this morning and too much sleep is actually a bad thing for the body because things start to not work properly and i know that's what i'm experiencing like i just had too much sleep so now because like i'm still exhausted right now even after getting 11 hours of sleep i'm still exhausted and it's because i got too much sleep so it's kind of the brain playing tricks on you like think making you think you need more and really you don't and so i'm just trying to get myself out of this little funk right now because right now i really want to just lay in my bed and go back to sleep and i could do that because i don't have anything to do right now but there's things i want to get done so i'm not going to do that so i got my sonic coffee this is a i think this is a 32 ounce cup so it's a 32 ounce coffee from sonic it's an iced coffee with caramel so i ordered the large iced caramel coffee and if you do it before 11 a.m it's happy hour so this huge thing is only a dollar 89 and i picked this up it's a lot of sugar and a lot of caffeine and that's what i need now somebody on tiktok said that um sonic puts ice cream in their iced coffees i'm not quite sure about that but they put in something in here because it's good and it's sweet and i bought it <clears throat> Now back up. Get out my face. I bought it because I saw it on Sonic. <clears throat> and it was talking about how good it was. So I went and got it. And it was so good the first time I had. It. So good. But then like the other times I've had it. It like I've been trying to. Like it's like. I've never done crack. But I would assume like the first time you do crack. You like yeah this is. And then every time after that you just chasing that high. That's what this is. Like I said, never did a crack, but I I imagine it being like that. So like the first time I had it, it was so good. And every time after that, I just been chasing that feeling again. And this time, this might be the closest I could get to that other feeling, to that first feeling. Other times it's been kind of mediocre, but it's a dollar eighty nine for this much coffee. So like I'm gonna take mediocre. What I'm gonna do is shrink this. And I'm going to sit in my bed and relax for a little bit and let this coffee kick in. And I might try to edit a, a little bit of my video. That's what I do. Sit in my bed, watch YouTube videos, drink my coffee, edit. Because that means I'm still being productive if I'm editing. And then I'm going to let my coffee kick in. And then I'm going to get up for the day. I have a lot of things I want to get done today. I want to definitely edit so I can hopefully post a video today. If I don't post it today, it's no big deal. I can post it tomorrow. I want to finish up any schoolwork I have because this is the start of spring break. So technically spring break doesn't start until Friday slash Saturday, but you guys know Thursdays are my Friday. So I want to get everything done today so that I can enjoy the rest of spring break. Well, I can enjoy spring break. 
I want to get some thing, documents uploaded to um, for stuff I need to do. I have an interview today. I have to get my second COVID shot today. And I would like to go to the gym today. I would also like to cook today. So there's some things I wanna get done today. And there's some things I need to get done today. And I just wanna make it all happen. So we are going to do our very best to ensure that that is possible. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and get my mind right. And then I'm gonna light my candles too. I've been slacking on lighting my candles. So I need to light my candles to get the auras right in here. And that's just it. And I will be bringing y'all along for the ride this weekend. And we go see how it goes. I wish I was going on a spring break trip, but it's whatever. But yeah, and what else was I about to say? Oh, y'all, I got my plates for my car, so I'm not expired. I got them yesterday. Yesterday was the 20th. No, I got them Tuesday, so like on the 23rd. And I had to like the 30th or the 31st, whichever one is the end of the month. So I was not late. Didn't have no expired plates. Ghetto. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> I am on the way to get my COVID exam, my second um, dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Not my COVID exam, my COVID vaccine. And I'm on my way. And I really hope that I don't have any side effects this time. Last time, the only side effect that I experienced, as you guys know, was the arm pain. That was um, the pain in the arm. And that was it. But I'm hoping I don't even get that. I hope I don't get nothing. Because that y'all ain't gonna lie, that pain in that arm one, no joke. So, and I can handle pain. I have a very high pain tolerance. Like when I do my tattoos and stuff, I never have no problems. And all of my tattoos are in a very, except for one, are in a very painful spot. And I don't have no issues. But that that pain in that arm, it wasn't like unbearable by no means. Cause of course, cause I did it. But it wasn't, it wasn't fun. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and I didn't get to record, y'all. It happened so fast. Like I told y'all, it's like a well-oiled machine in there. They have it running like, uh, it's like, it's very efficient in there. So, everything happened so fast. Like, my appointment was at 12.15. I'm walking out of here. It's like 12.18. So, that's how quickly, and of course, I didn't get here right at 12.15. I did get here a little bit earlier, but everything is just moving so quickly and efficiently that you don't spend no time in there at all so <sighs> okay so i'm leaving there and now i'm just on my way to meet someone and i'm gonna do my a little bit of homework and stuff and i need to i'm gonna start getting ready for my interview at like two maybe 1 32 something like that and yeah my lips is chapped wish i had my chapstick with me but yeah not the same thing happened i don't feel anything right now we'll see how i feel later as far as my arm or if i get any other symptoms now the lady did tell me that if i want i can take some ibuprofen which i didn't know that um last time Now, y'all know I don't like medicine at all. So, I don't like taking medicine unless it's absolutely necessary. Last time, it was to the point where I would have taken some medicine. That's how bad it hurt. But I didn't because I wasn't sure if you're allowed. Like, I don't know, too. I don't know. I didn't want to mess nothing up. But the lady today, she told me. She asked. They asked, you know, did you get any symptoms last time? Blah, blah, blah. And I told her. I'm sorry, I'm trying to back out of this busy parking lot and talk to y'all at the same time. I hate people who just back out of their spot and don't look, so I don't be one of them people. I be looking. But yeah, so I told her, you know, last time. I'm 
like right here i'm in the like and he not even backing out he's just pulling out regularly so you can see me and he just runs right up he just comes right out even though he sees me like literally two feet ahead of him he just comes right out into the into the lane like so if you would have hit me then what Woo! And I be living to be beat my horn man, people. Y'all beeping your horn, blowing your horn is so therapeutic. It's like you getting, it's like you know how people throw plates. That's how I feel about blowing my horn. Like I be laying on my horn whenever I get a chance to blow it. Now I don't always blow my. Oh y'all almost y'all saw me almost just blew it again. Cause people is acting up in this parking lot. It's like I just told y'all, I like to look before I just hop out. But uh, clearly, everyone doesn't feel the same way. This man just almost backed into me, but I could almost, uh, I could almost, you know, get let that go, because backing into someone, okay, you may not have seen them. The first man was, he was going forward. His car was in drive. He could see me. He had, because he backed into the spot. So, he was coming out of the spot normally. He could see me, and he just did that on purpose. So, but yeah. I don't even know what I was saying. What I was saying, at, I don't even know. Oh, old people can't drive. I don't even think that first man was that old though. Oh, and then he in them big pickup trucks, y'all. People, and I can't say nothing because my man drive a couple pickup trucks, but people with pickup trucks are. I can't stand them. They. People in pickup trucks think they rule the world. Like, y'all know how they say motorcycles think they just can do whatever on the road. No, people who drive pickup trucks think they can do whatever on the road. They be cutting people off. They be, people who drive pickup trucks make me sick. They think they are the rulers of the road. They think they can do whatever. They try to bully people on the road. Like, sir. People who drive pickup trucks be the same people who be blinding you in... <laughs> Let me get off my rant about that person. Because it ain't gonna do nothing. This doesn't serve me any. What they be saying in yoga? Release whatever does not serve you. Yeah, I love the curl pattern on this wig. And this is just water. I didn't put nothing in it. Just water. Only thing that's wrong. And the lace looks good on this wig too. Only thing that's wrong is the hair in the frontal is so matted and tangled. And I partially blame myself because like Bentley will get a hold to a wig and he will try to destroy it and everything. But also I just blame the quality of the wig. Now, like I said, the lace is good and the curls are pretty, but it sheds so much. This wig sheds a lot. Like I'm surprised it doesn't look super thin by the amount of that this wig sheds. And then, like I said, it just tangles really bad. So, but this wig was so pretty when I first put it on. Well, when I first got it put on, the um, the girl who did it, she said that the uh, the knots bleached super well. You know, she said the lace is super thin. The lace is super thin and pretty. And it's just the hair. The hair is like, like I told y'all, it's it sheds a lot and it tangles a lot so that's not good okay y'all so i just had my interview and this is my interview look so i just have my hair and i have a little twist in the front with the curls i was gonna change my wig because i told y'all this wig ain't right no way but i was able to make it work what's it what's the man name who used to be on Man, what's the name of that show? The show where they be making the clothes. Project Ray Ray, make it work. Y'all you know who I'm talking about, right? Right, right. But yeah, I just did my makeup. I just did something super simple. I didn't put on no lashes. I just did mascara. And I just did a brown lid. And then everything else I did normal. I didn't go as dramatic on the contour as I usually would. That's really the only change I did. Oh, and I didn't go all out on my lip either. <laughs> like, so simplicity is key in an interview. I probably could have went more simple, but I didn't. That's just not me. If I would have went any more simple, it just wouldn't have been me. But yeah, so this is the interview look. And then I just have, on, as y'all can see, I don't have on no pants. They didn't know that though. It's Zoom. 
you just gotta be presentable from waist up and then of course i didn't have my leg up like this in the interview but i just got on this little blazer and this little cute little dress top and that's how i was looking in the interview looking real interview cute and you guys it's important if you're having an interview like if it's a phone interview who cares but a zoom interview or any type of video chat interview it's very important i know you're at home but it's still important to look your best and put your best foot forward you don't want to be in a zoom interview in your pajamas or your workout clothes or whatever you still want to get up and look presentable do your hair you know you still want to look your best in a zoom interview because it is still an interview at the end of the day and it's still you still should put your best foot forward so that's what i did today and i kind of got the job i think from what they were saying she was like yeah be looking forward to a, a a email tomorrow and i'm like okay i guess that means i got it so basically i'm in clinicals and i am training to be an x-ray tech well this job is a student tech position so i'm going to be doing all the things that i would as an x-ray tech just i don't have my i'm not licensed yet and so it's kind of me just doing the same thing i'm doing in clinicals but getting paid for it and everything and it's you know just more exp experience more exposure and it looks really good on resumes so when it's time for me to get my real job it will look really good and then i'm gonna get a lot of experience i'm gonna get a lot of like i'm gonna learn a lot which is why i want to do it because of the experience and learning i don't even really care about the money it's for the experience and the resume build booster for me i kind of know like i wouldn't be mad if i didn't get it because like i'm very nervous about how it's going to look to actually do this job because i am very busy as it is and i you know start getting a little overwhelmed and you know i feel like there's not enough time in the day for me to do all the things that i like to do that i want need want or need to do now so i feel like adding a job onto it is going to be pretty sticky i'm just don't know i just don't know we will see how this goes and i'm just gonna make it do what it do and i'm gonna whatever happens happens and god got it i'm probably what i'm going to do now is change my wig for sure i'm going to change my wig and maybe jazz up my eyeshadow a little bit i may just keep my eyeshadow the same and just pop on some lashes depends let's see depends on how i'm feeling but i'm gonna film a video because i have on a good face of makeup right now and i haven't filmed a video in a minute so let's do it i don't know which video i'm gonna film last time i looked at my video list i said i was gonna film a nighttime routine but i don't really know how i want to do my nighttime routine so i don't know if that's gonna be what i film right now but i'm gonna film something because I need to get some filming done. I haven't filmed a video. Like, I've been doing vlogs, but I haven't filmed an actual video in a little minute. So, we gonna do that. We gonna do that. And I'm gonna change my lip. So, I'm gonna change my lip. Lashes, for sure. May or may not change my eyeshadow. We'll see about that. And change the wig, for sure. But, yeah, I like my eyebrows, y'all. Um, <clears throat> Earlier... I was looking at estheticians because I want to get microblading. I was about to say, um, I don't know what I was about to say, but I want to get microblading done. Y'all see these curls are so pretty. It's just the wig is so bad. But yeah, I want to get microblading done because I was looking at this girl YouTube and she was um, doing her makeup and before she even did her makeup her eyebrows looked good and she was like yeah I don't really have to fill them in much because I have uh, microblading and I'm like of course I've heard of microblading before but I, I don't know what just dawned on me today like after seeing after hearing her say it I was like yeah I want that so I've been looking at um, different people and different places it's this girl in Kansas City who I really want to do it but y'all, microblading ain't cheap. And then I would have to go to Kansas City to get it done. And then it's not even the fact, because Kansas City is only, it's not that far away. But it's the fact that I would have to go back. 
because you have to get like a four to six week touch up and then you got to pay for that too that's another thing so you're supposed to get a four to six week touch up so i would have to go back in four to six weeks and then on top of that i would have to pay again not of course not the full price again but i would have to pay a touch up fee again now some people i don't think this girl did from what i was reading but some people do include your touch up fee in your total you know in your total price but I don't think she did, but she does a good job. She's what I really, she is who I really would love to do it in a perfect world if I didn't have to drive there and if I didn't have to drive back there and if I didn't have to pay extra for the touch-up fee. But let's just say I don't have to pay for it. Might be able to work that out where I don't have to pay for it out of my own pocket. If that happens, then I'm just gonna suck it up and drive there and then drive back in, in four to six weeks because I want my eyebrow, I want, I want my microderm. I mean, not microderm. See, that's what I was probably finna say earlier. I want my microblading done. So, cause I just want my eyebrows to look done all the time. Is that too much to ask for? But one question I do have, let me know if y'all have an answer for me. And if you do go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Why am I pointing like that? But so when you get microblading done, do your do your real eyebrows still grow outside of it because if so you still got to get your eyebrows done right and if so i don't want it but i did a good job on my eyebrows today if i do say so myself if i look at them really hard i can see a difference this one is always my problem child there's like a slight difference y'all can can y'all see it this one is higher Oh, you start looking at yourself too long. You be looking like Rasputia or Shrek. Don't look at yourself too long like that. Okay, let me get on with my day. Good evening. So today is Friday. And it's very late in the day. Let me sit down and tell y'all why. Oop, candle down. But, okay, so yesterday, I think the last time I talked to y'all, I had just got done with my interview. And so after that, I ended up um, changing my wig and I did, I hope this TV isn't too loud. Y'all, I'm watching Latoya forever, I'm watching her vlogs because I used to watch her vlogs when she had Latoya's Life, the channel. And I was watching her vlogs and then all of a sudden, y'all, I was so in the dark. All of a sudden, like the videos was gone. And I was just like, so what happened? I had no idea about nothing. I didn't know, I didn't know none of that until I saw it was announced that she was going to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I was like very happy for that because I like Latoya. And then when I saw that she was on there and then they was like, that's when I found out about the divorce and everything. I'm like, oh, okay. It makes sense why they're not vlogging anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And then like I last night, which is why I'm getting such a late start. Well, partially why. But last night I stayed up really late watching Real Housewives again. And I don't know, Latoya was just giving. So I went on her, um, I went on her, her actual Latoya Forever page and I saw that she started vlogging again. And it's been a minute. Like, I don't know where I've been. She started vlogging on that channel. So I'm watching her vlogs now. I'm gonna go back, um, from the beginning because apparently it's been a lot of drama with her and Adam and I'm just very confused so I don't know but yeah I've been watching her and um I don't know some people have been saying they don't like Latoya on Real Housewives but I mean there was probably just one scene well no I didn't even dislike her in the scene but um people was talking about when her and Drew got into it at the Palm at the in South Carolina um well one of the times <clears throat> people was talking about that but to me drew got right back at her and ate her right back up so i mean no harm no foul in my opinion so um that's just that i like latoya i think she's doing a very good job on real housewives i feel like she has a very she's been very like staple in the season if you ask me like for her to be just a friend to the show, she's definitely appearing way more than Tanya, way th more than Shamia, even way more than Marlo. Now, I'm not going to say way more than Marlo, but even more than Marlo. Like previously, Marlo wasn't doing all that. Like she's been on the season a good amount this time. And I really think that's because they just are lacking in the number of, of housewives, actual housewives. But 
I don't know. I like Latoya. I like Latoya on the show a lot. I also like Drew on the show a lot, y'all. If they could just get rid of Kenya, like I know she's good for TV, but I just, ugh, just don't like her. Just don't like her. Okay, but yeah. So I stayed up really late watching that, and I'm still not caught up all the way. The episode I left off on was the aftermath. So like, um they page six found out about bolo and all of that so that's where i'm at right now so i'm still got some ways to go and then of course each sunday a new episode comes out i think it's sunday and so i'm excited to be watching that because it's my spring break so i can relax i can stay up late if i want to you know whatever so i did that all last night and then i when i woke up it was like 10 maybe and i don't know i just haven't been feeling like getting out of bed like i just haven't i just been wanting to relax so um i've been i ordered chipotle delivery i rarely order delivery i think i told you i ordered it last weekend and i did but as far as like i rarely order delivery so i ordered me some delivery i have really really considered going on a vacation. I don't know if that's what they call it, but I've considered going on a vacation by myself just because I want to enjoy my spring break and I want to get out and go somewhere. But I don't know, like for safety reasons and for like, you know, I just don't want to be. I just don't want to be, you know, gone out of town by myself and i was thinking about going somewhere you know kind of close but i don't know i just i don't think i'm gonna do it so i'm just gonna make this into a little staycation which people do but i don't know I, i'm not gonna feel like i'm not even gonna call it a staycation because it's not gonna resemble a state of vacation in any way for me probably so i'm just gonna leave that terminology alone but yes so that's just all that's been going on i uploaded a video today so it hasn't been you know if i uploaded a video then it's been a productive day for me like so i, I because i had to edit that video before i uploaded it so editing and uploaded and then i've just kind of been chilling ate my chipotle and now i'm getting up it's like it's like 6 30 maybe i am about to clean up my room i need to do one load of laundry today love to get it done today i usually try to do laundry early in the day but i'm gonna it's just one load so i should be okay starting it now and yes so let's get to it let's get to it tomorrow i want to try to wake up early and try to go to the farmer's market because i want to make the forgive me if i'm pronouncing it wrong they're called bur I think they're called Berea tacos, but y'all know tacos with the soup like kind of stuff. And then they have the the kind of marinated tortilla shells and stuff like the in the with the red sauce and stuff. I want to make those. And I have all the ingredients, like I literally have every ingredient to make it except it costs for like some type of chilies and stuff. And the grocery store, like Walmart, didn't have like chilies. They have like jalapenos, but they don't have like chilies, like the like or even like kind of the, I call them exotic. They're probably not even all that exotic, but like the peppers that are not jalapeno peppers and bell peppers. And I need some of those. So I'm gonna check out the farmer's market, but this farmer's market, it's weird. Like I know farmer's markets are usually kind of exclusive to the weekends. I do know that, but this one is only Saturday and it's only nine to 12. That's like, a very small window that just don't seem right but i'm gonna try to get up and go there tomorrow and then i will take you guys along with me hopefully it's open because i know farmers markets are seasonal and it's just the beginning of spring so hopefully it's open but we will cross that bridge when we get there tomorrow good morning guys i am tying my wig down right now and i'm about getting ready to go to the farmers market so before I wait, I'm about to pull something out of a bag that I bought. I think I bought this stuff like Wednesday, but before I kind of started tampering with the bag, I want to give y'all a little haul. So this is from Old Navy, this stuff. And I ran in there on Wednesday because um, I was a little too early to pick Bentley up. So I needed some time to spare and look what I did. So I love, hold on, let me find a way to prop y'all up. Okay. so. 
I love these little swing dresses from Old Navy. They're super cute. And this one is actually funny because when I was in the store, I was looking at it hard. And I'm like, I feel, stop it. I was like, I feel like I have this. So this is the one that I bought maybe, I feel like it's been two summers ago now. And then this is the one that I picked up. <laughs> so I clearly have the same taste. They're similar colors with similar flowers kind of so yeah i have a whole bunch of these type of dresses because they're just super cute to put on they're very um flattering they're super like they're kind of like an oversized like i don't want to call it oversized but the swing um if you know what a swing dress is that factor can get a little oversized because it is very like slimming and it's very flattering but yeah, i think y'all know I don't really like oversized stuff on me because it looks like it's swallowing me and these dresses do a good job of being you know they do they got the best of both worlds they are still like form-fitting but they also are oversized a little bit not oversized but they're not super tight and they have that little swing factor that makes them like I don't know then I got one in black and white stripes And I got one in the, like the blue tie dye. I've been liking this print lately. Like I have bought like two hats in this print. I bought some shirts in this same print. So this print is, I guess this is the print of the season and I've been liking it. Yep, so I got those three dresses and they were like $15 each. And then I just stocked up on some tank tops because you can never have too many and all of mine have been getting like kind of dingy and you know or disappearing so i just needed some white ones and some black ones and i always get my like plain tank tops from old navy because they're of good quality but they're a good price and these were like six dollars no they were six dollars a piece so six dollars for a tank top i think that's a good deal and then that's all I got um, from Old Navy. But in this bag, while I'm looking in this bag, I just threw some stuff in here from where I got earlier. I got some shisha from my hookah from this place. Not from Old Navy, of course. And then I got me some Old Navy books. So I'm going to go back to Old Navy between the 10th and the 18th of April. Y'all, Old Navy Super. It's called Old Navy Super Cash. Um, Coles Cash, Old Navy Cash, uh, them little reward cards they give you at Victoria's Secret. All of that stuff be drawing me right back in. They are doing their job. <clears throat> but yes, that is the end of that little mini, mini, mini haul. And I am going to get ready. I'm not wearing these dresses today. Um, when I, The thing I was talking about I was wearing today, I'm probably going to put on this black tank top with my outfit. So, yep. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And, yeah, I'm probably going to go to Marshall's while I'm out, too. I know they probably get tired of seeing me at Marshall's. The film of the day is You're the One by Bath & Body Works. And this is the actual perfume. I don't have the full size bottle. I only have it in the travel spray, but it smells super, super good. Outfit of the day. So I have on this little kind of like droopy cardigan. I don't remember where I got this from. I've had it for so long. It's burgundy. Then I have on that black tank top that I bought from Old Navy. And it's actually a little too big. So I am going to take it back, the rest of them back that I didn't open. And I'm gonna get a smaller size. I got it in a small. And I guess I need an extra small. Sorry about the dirty mirror. Yeah, I guess I need an extra small because it's a little too big. And then I got these jeans from PacSun forever ago. I got these boots from, I really don't know. It wasn't even that long ago. I want to say I was in Chicago. I want to say it was Bloomingdale's, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know. And then I just have my bag, my Never Fool. And yep, a little outfit of the day. Okay guys, so I 
just left the farmer's market and it was nice um they're under like a little pavilion and um there was a lot of people there there weren't that many like it's a compared to what i'm used to like being from st louis um i remember being a young being i'm sorry my hair I remember when I was younger, my grandma would always take us to, whenever we were over my grandma's house, we would get up on Saturday morning and go to Soulard's Market. And if you know anything about Soulard's Market, you know it's a huge farmer's market and they sell all type of stuff. Like, I remember we would go and um, we would get freshly made like pork grinds and we would get, and they would be like right out the fryer. And then my grandma would always get us an, um, <clears throat> a snow cone because they had at this place they made the real good snow cones. It was a pet store in, the, in there. Like it was really big. They had uh, just everything. So this is a, a bit, quite a bit smaller than what I'm used to, but um, it was okay. And I got what I needed, I think. So, I was walking around and none of the places had peppers and I'm like so where am I supposed to get these chili slash peppers whatever you want to call them and then the very la the place at the very like back of the thing like the last place that you could possibly go to they had peppers and they were like up and they didn't have because the recipe that I'm looking at it said these specific names and like the lady was telling me she was like there's so many different you know names you know you could but you could really use any one especially if it has you know she told me to look up the squoval number i think that's what it was and they were helping me look it up too and get something of the same like heat intensity this lady's looking at me hold on get something of a similar heat intensity so and then also i didn't know how many I needed and she was telling me okay so with the word so on the recipe that I have for the burrito tacos it says chili and the lady was explaining to me that all chilies means if a chili is just a red pepper and I didn't know that and so she was just like you know just get it just means that it's a red pepper and then if you get something of the same kind of heat intensity then it'll do and but then I didn't know like because different peppers are different sizes like my recipe called for four of this amount of pepper but if it you know if I don't know so I don't know if I got enough but I got four Anaheim peppers I got two packages of these and these are a mild pepper really mild 10 jalapenos and these are a little have a little bit more kick to them and i guess if i really if i really end up with not enough i can run to the store and get some regular jalapenos i guess i don't know how that works y'all these burrito tacos gonna be ghetto but we gonna do it we gonna see how it happens okay guys i am back so um old navy i got a couple things i wasn't able to exchange the tank tops i bought because they didn't have the extra smalls in the so it was no point in exchanging so i just kept i just ended up keeping the ones that i have because i mean it's not terribly it doesn't fit you know it's not a terrible fit or anything like that so i just kept the ones that i have and in there i picked up a couple other things so y'all bentley is so disrespectful so i bought him a toy for marshall's why he just went in the bag and pulled the toy out look at him he he went in i kid y'all not he went in the bag and got the toy himself disrespectful how you know that wasn't for somebody else that's why i'm not gonna open it the disrespect so from old navy i just got this dress now this is the same dress that was on the mannequin and it was cute on the mannequin the only thing that i was a little reserved about is it didn't go all the way past her ankles when i wear a maxi i like it to be a true maxi i want it to pass my ankles so you know we're gonna check on that but the thing that i was like okay the saving grace was her sandals tied up kind of high so it's like if it doesn't go past the ankles okay the sandals that was a it was cute to me so i got that dress i wanted the color yeah i got it so bad wanting the exact outfit that's on the mannequin and i have that bad but i wanted that color but they didn't have that color 
and I really, really wanted to ask them to take it off the mannequin because it was my size and everything on the mannequin. I was really tempted to ask. Now, usually I'll ask, like in Route 21, they get, I know they get tired of me. I be asking them to take stuff right off the mannequin. If y'all if y'all don't have it out, and I almost did it in Old Navy, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like being a Karen today. <laughs> Is that Karen behavior? Let me know. But yeah, so I got, the, I got it in white instead, and I look good in white, so it'll be okay. I would have bought it in the other color too, but I told y'all I'd be wanting the exact outfit, so I got the shoes with the hat on too. And the shoes were 30% off, and the dresses were 50% off, so. And then I did end up getting one tank top in the extra small. This was literally all they had for me, because I wanted whites in extra small. They didn't, they had some spaghetti strap white tank tops, but I don't wear spaghetti strap tank tops, because... I don't have the boobs for that. You gotta have good boobs because you can't really wear a bra with them and I don't got the boobs for that. So I just got this one and then I got another swing dress in this pretty peach color. I don't wear a lot of stuff in this color, but I have a shirt that I got from H&M a, a while ago in this color and I wore it fitly. And I wore it and it looks super cute on me. So this color looks good on me. And that's all I got. I got some more old navy. I got some more old navy cash. Love to see that. So that's it from Marshalls. I just got some candles. Nothing crazy. Nothing. They didn't have any good perfumes out. It it looked better than the last time I went in there. Cause if y'all remember the last time I went to Marshalls, the perfume section was obsolete. It was nothing. So it looked better than the last time i came in there but they didn't have anything that i wanted which is perfectly fine because i don't need no more perfume i was gonna buy it if I, it was there but i don't need no more so yep that's all i just put a load of uh clothes in the washer and i just have one load to wash and then i'm right now i'm about to eat a little bit of lunch it's 11 35 stop it so i am going to go take out my meat for my tacos and i am going to um eat some lunch i have some chipotle and i also have a salad this buffalo chicken salad that's really good i might eat a little bit of both of those and i'm gonna chill out for a little bit but do some relaxing and i'm just all about relaxing y'all i might read my book my michelle obama book um and i'm just gonna sit down and watch some tv and maybe take a nap too while i'm at it hey y'all so it's much later Ooh, my apple watch is dead that got off Y'all, I love my little Pandora bracelet. I need to get some more charms because I eventually want to fill it up. I did all of this on one round. Like, I got the actual bracelet and I got all of these charms all at one time. And I want to get some more. I just want to get, like, one more. It's hard because it's not a Pandora store here. So, you don't get to, like, do the oohs and the eyes of, like, looking around and actually, like, buying it, like, at the, a jewelry store. But, yeah, I want to get some more. Maybe I'll get like two more because once I, if you get a dangle, then you need a, a non-dangle to kind of offset it. So maybe that's what I'll do. I want, also want to get <clears throat> some perfume. My next perfume purchase that I buy is going to be Coco Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle. I want to get that. <clears throat> I've heard mixed reviews. Some people have said, I think I've only heard like one or two people say this though, but I have heard that it's like a little bit older, but I think I want to get that. It's just, I feel like it's a classic Chanel. Don't be missing. They don't. I love Chanel Allure. Oh, I love Chanel Allure. And hmm, I'm trying to think if I've ever smelled Coco Mademoiselle. <clears throat> But if I have and I didn't like it, I'm not even going to pay attention to that because of the way I, me and Allure found each other. Allure, I had as a sample from somehow, somewhere I had got Allure as a sample and I smelled it on my, sprayed it on myself, you know, and went on about my day. And later on, I was smelling myself and I was like, I smell good. What is this that I sprayed today? Went back up, found out it was Chanel Allure. And I was like, I gotta get that. It smells so good. Then I went to Dillard's one day and I was looking to buy a new perfume. And I was like, oh, Chanel Allure, I wanna smell that. <clears throat> I smelled it and it did not smell good at all. And I like initially walked away from it. 
but I ended up going back because I was like the way my body chemistry mixed with this scent is different it hit different so I was like I'm buying it and then it, it it still smells good on me so <clears throat> always pay attention to how it smells on you because something can smell terrible on the paper and smell amazing on you or vice versa so it's important to pay attention to the how something smells on your person oh, 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 yeah.